Hey, I'll just get my cell phone out too and take a picture of this one. This is your light gunners. Well, what in the hell, dude? Let me call you back. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry, but I, I mean, honestly. I thought you were joking right up that fast, dude. I'm telling you, I was just island talking on the phone, dude. I wasn't paying no attention. Apparently. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. You okay? Yeah, well, obviously the boat's fucked up. Yeah. I mean, I, miss, I mean, seriously, like, I ain't trying to be like, honestly, I'm sorry, dude. Well, you can't just run off. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get pictures and shit for this. I know that. Like, we're fine. We're fine. I mean, I, I mean I'm being like for real, we dude. No, I'm, I'm being dead serious. We're, we're fine. The poles are fine. It's scuffed up, but that. All right, so that's not your average start to a YouTube video, obviously. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, my name's Darian Craig. I make a lot of YouTube videos. Um, but yesterday, out on the water, we had an incident, as y'all just saw. And I really don't know what to talk about on this video because there's so many things, there's so many questions, there's so many emotions, there's so many un answers that we didn't get yesterday because we were in the moment. But before I even go any further, and guys, please respect me on this, but I don't want to bash the guy. Um, after we talked, it was an honest mistake. Um, it's a guy who is boating a lot, and he just made a mistake. The guy has fishes a lot, he knows what he's doing, and he just made an honest mistake. I, I spent hours blurring this video out, and um, I will never tell anyone who his name is. I don't care to tell who his name is. The point for the video is to really talk about boating safety, really, really focus on boating safety. But I wanted to play the rest of this video. I'm gonna start it over again and play the rest of it. And I'm gonna be down on the bottom of the screen just showing and talking about what was going on in those moments. And, um, you know, it, looking back on it, you can say a bunch of different things. And the first two people I called and told about this situation, they both said, man, did you whoop him? Did y'all jump in his boat? And obviously that was an emotion. That was one thing. That's your first instinct. Um, but, you know, the guy obviously, the second before he hit us, his emotions and his, you could tell that he honestly made a mistake. And so, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just soft, but uh, I think it's easy to say, well, I whooped his butt. But the guy honestly knew that he made a mistake and he immediately started apologizing for it. So, I didn't feel like getting physical was the you know the right thing to do but anyhow i hope you guys will watch the rest of this video leave a comment down below just if you're going to watch the rest of the video do me one favor at the end of this just leave a comment um asking what you would have done differently and how you thought we reacted did we react the right way did we react the wrong way um should we have done a little more or a little less after or before the fact Drop a comment down below, let us know that. Also, if you're new to my channel, please smash the subscribe button. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of this video. All right, so I've got the video pulled up. I'm just gonna hit play on my laptop. And then uh, as I feel like there's topics we need to talk about, I'll pause it and we'll talk. Um, first off, before we even get started, obviously we're fishing right here. And we caught actually caught some fish here. And then we noticed this guy and he's way, way off in the distance, but he's idling straight to us and you hear me start talking that's about as he's probably within 40 yards of us but he's he's too close yeah i'll just press play hey i'll just get my cell phone out too and take a picture of this this is your light gunners well <laughs> all right so right there you saw me pause uh, pause my phone or stop recording on my phone. It was at that time that I realized, all right, he's not just gonna idle past us. Truly, when he was idling at us, I thought that this guy was gonna be an idiot. There's another word I wanted to use, but, and just idle straight to us and go around us and keep idling. That's originally was my thought. And then as he is still coming closer, and you can see he's fast idling. As he's coming closer, as I pause my phone, I'm thinking, well, maybe this is one of their buddies and he's coming in there quick on us to see if we're catching him. He's gonna throw it in reverse, whoa, slow, you know, slow down really quickly. And then we were just gonna talk. And then as he gets about five, six feet away, you see me throw my hands up. At that point, I realized that he was about to hit us. 
but never, even right here, he's he's uh, 15, 20 feet away. I never realized that he was going to hit us. It, it honestly never was a thought in my mind until after it happened, basically. What in the hell, dude? Let me call you back. <sighs> Fuck. I'm sorry, but I, I mean, honestly. I thought you were joking right up that fast, dude. I'm telling you, I was just island talking on the phone, dude. I wouldn't pay no attention. Apparently. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. You okay? Yeah, I mean, obviously the boat's dumped. Yeah. I mean, I, miss, I mean, seriously, like, I ain't trying to be, like, honestly, I'm sorry, dude. Well, you can't just run off. We're going we're gonna to have to get pictures and shit for this. I know that. Like, we're fine. We're fine. I mean, I mean I'm being, like, for real, we dude. No, I'm, I'm being dead serious. We're, we're fine. The poles are fine, it's scuffed up, but that's... Man, I'm telling you, dude, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that's all me, dude. I ain't trying to, like, flex or nothing. <laughs> all me. Yeah, I ain't nothing. I probably just need to get me. their information. So, uh, you can hear he's apologizing instantly. And everyone, I said this in the intro, I think, but everyone that I've talked to, or I've only called a couple people about this, like, man, you should have whooped his butt. And I, I understand that, like, you know, you want to fight him because he just tore our stuff up, he's not paying attention. But the guy obviously didn't mean it. And you could tell instantly, like, he started backpedaling. He started apologizing. He asked him, what can I do to make it right? And this and that, this and that. It, it, would just, it would have been a different situation if the guy would have acted differently about it. But he immediately, I could tell. So when he got within five feet, I blurred his face out so y'all can't see this. But I can tell that he did not, that he knew he had messed up. As soon as he got on us, I could tell I knew he messed up. Because his face lit up really big. His eyes got really big. And I just knew at that moment that, um, you know, obviously he didn't need to do it. We have to figure out what's about to happen. So yeah. Out, yeah. We'll probably have to send it off to uh, get repaired. I mean, luckily it's nothing, nothing bad yeah, happened to ours. Major. Nothing bad happened to yours. But I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I just wouldn't pay attention. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, we get it. That's all on me, honestly. I mean, this still closes. No. That, no. You have to get a new that i mean new where's that paint where's the jail come from the jail oh, right came here. right here right here that's his that's oh, that that's wipes his? off okay so at this point we're just trying to we're trying to assess all of the damages at this point so we realized the power poles were messed up there's some busted up jail coat the gas cap wouldn't close i saw some fiberglass on his boat so really we're just trying to assess what exactly just happened because at this point we're just shook up um so that's where we're at on this point. The only thing that's wrong with the gel is right here. Your power pole's scuffed up. Your gel's messed yeah. up here. I'm gonna have to take it to my, my uh, fiberglass guy. Get him to work that and figure out what's going, what's going on with this power pole. Dude, I'm telling you, that's all, man. I'm literally was sitting there just staring at the grass, not paying attention. That's not a good answer. I understand just staring at the graph but that's not an answer guys we have to do better than that we've got to be paying attention this could have been so much worse i, I can't stress that enough this could have been worse man and you never know something that quick me and hannah have been talking about taking her granddad fishing he's getting older he can't move around very good if that would have been this situation when we started doing this we started talking about all these what ifs that's this is one of them what if we would have been with hannah's granddad he would have been sitting on a on a pawpaw chair back here and he would have gotten hit with the boat who, who knows what would have happened then, or um, a small child, or what if he would have took off right you know, right as he got to us? What if that was been as he was about to take off, and then it could have got a lot worse. So there's so many what ifs, man. You just gotta look up. And I'm not just I'm not talking to the guy who did it because obviously he knows that now. I'm talking to all of us. We've got to do better. We got to practice safe boating. Um, you know this isn't this isn't acceptable, honestly. So here we go. It could have been a lot worse, though. I, I hear you. Shit, man. I'm telling you, dude, you don't have, I'm sick in my stomach, man. Like, I... It's all right. It'll dude, I'm... Sort out for it's you. all good, dude. He's Luckily, good. nothing's bad messed up. I would, I mean, hell, like, y'all should have hollered at me. Like, uh, hell, I'm gonna... It's not our place to holler at you. It's... You're driving the boat. Don't... Don't... He keeps saying... He said it, like, two or three times. Why didn't y'all holler at me? Until the last split second, I didn't know he was going to hit us. That's not what you're thinking about. Maybe we should have, but if we would have, when I threw my hands up, y'all can see on the video, when I threw my hands up in the beginning, that's when I realized he was about to hit us and he was five feet away. It never, ever, ever dawned on me that he was going to hit us. It just didn't. That's not what you think when someone's idling up to you. And especially like y'all know how it is. You idle up to your buddy. You see him on a spot, idle up to him and you idle, idle, idle hit it in neutral hit it in reverse boom, stop the boat and then y'all start talking i honestly until he was 
at the, at the distance where I threw my hands up, I never imagined that that's that this is what was about to happen. I thought you were about to slow it up and no, break. Absolutely. I thought you knew him when you got that no, close. I was, I was talking like, to a boy who's yeah. got a tournament up here, and he fishes like the high school dude. Oh, yeah. And he was sitting there, and I was just staring at the graph island. That was like, man, I'm telling you, I feel like get i guess get his number okay. and and um cell phone number driver's license number and then the whole id number yeah, yeah. and then y'all can just talk oh, there's no need to do anything right now no just call on monday and get everything squared away man, oh, man. i wish y'all just hauled, like said like them telling you i wouldn't pay in that. i'm not gonna lie when you got that close i thought you were gonna i pulled I out you, i literally i, was literally I pulled out there. my cell phone and i was about to make fun of you yeah. and then i was like we figured y'all were buddies if you were rolling yeah. up that fast i was like well quickly they became not buddies i got yeah. you no like, uh, i would trust me i wouldn't do that to nobody that's yeah. that's me not paying attention once he got that close i i honestly oh, i thought sure. he was just gonna be like all right, all right you know put it in reverse yeah, push the gas sure. real hard like, oh, man. I thought when he got that close, he knew who we are and he was just rolling up. Yeah. I stopped filming when he got that close because I figured y'all knew who he was. Oh boy. So that was that. And again, I said earlier, there's several, there's mixed emotions. And now that I look back on it, it, it pisses me off watching the video because I'm like, I understand how it happened, but there's not as, I wanted to ask more questions. Watching the video, I wanted to ask more questions. You know, how, how long were you idling? When did you, when you ran to that spot and you started idling and you saw a boat out there 300 yards away, why did it not dawn on you to look up at some point in time? You know, to the girl, and I, I didn't even bring the girl into the video, but the girl never moved. She never apologized. She never asked us any questions. Honestly, extremely, extremely rude and disrespectful. They just destroyed this guy's boat and she just never even cared. And maybe I'm thinking about it. I don't know if she had headphones in. She didn't know that, that all of it happened. You know, she's out there laying out. I think she was reading a book or on, on her phone or something. So maybe she just truly didn't notice. Um, that's possible, but still it's like at least get up. I feel like that's at least the most respectful thing you could do. But again, this video was in absolutely no way did I, I intend for this video to go after the guy who did it. He apologized, we've all talked. Um, we talked for much longer than what I put on the video. And he's like, man, I fish out here all the time. I, I'm, I fish a lot and uh, this was a mistake that I never have made before and I will never make again. He's like, I promise and I believe him. He's like, this is not ever gonna happen again. And so, you know, did we do the right thing? Did we do the wrong thing? Should we have called the police or the, you know, the game more? Like, I don't know who you call in that situation. Should we have called insurance? Should we have jumped in his boat and beat him with freaking flipping sticks? I don't know what the right answer was. I feel like we handled it in a really, um, I, I think we handled it the right way. I think we handled it professionally, but please drop a comment down below. How would you have handled that? And how do you think we handled it? Um, just because hopefully this never happens to any of us and it never happens to anyone, but I think sharing this video with other boaters, making sure other people see this video so that we're all aware of what to do in that situation um, is important. And again, it just goes back to safe boating. You know, I practice making sure my kill switch is hooked up, making sure I've got my life jacket on, my throw cushion, the fire extinguisher, tie up ropes, a tow rope, all of that is to practice safe boating. But not only that is using your eyes and your ears. We've got to do a better job, guys. Again, not talking about this guy. Uh, well, obviously I am talking about this guy, but I'm not calling him out at all. Uh, I, I, this video was not intended at all to go after this guy. Uh, it was truly intended on spreading the message of safe boating. I hope you guys learned something from this video. We definitely learned our lesson. He for sure learned his lesson. And hopefully this will make all of you think that you know when we get these big graphs and we're looking at them we have to pay more attention when we're on the water that not that's not just for idling that's running around the lake you know you get caught looking through your map while you're running and you don't look up enough make sure you're doing that guys we we have to get better at it as a whole to make uh boating safer just uh, across the globe make it better so please share this video with someone who you know that's a boater that could that could benefit from seeing this a bass club a, a uh, your buddy, whoever it is, make sure you share this with them so they can spread the word of safe boating as well. And uh, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of fishing YouTube videos, some how to's, and I fish Lake Gunnersville a lot. So we have some really cool fish catches. But, but anyhow, I hope to see all of you guys on my next video. Uh, remember, share this video out, practice safe boating.